What's up, everybody? Welcome to a new English bit. I'm Katya. In today's lesson, we're going to learn lots of adjectives to talk about feelings. All together, there will be 115 words. This video can be especially useful for the speaking exam part two at FIRST and CAE exams by Cambridge. In this part, you have to compare and contrast two pictures. And there are also some questions, one or two. And usually one of the questions has to do with how the people might be feeling. So you need to know lots of adjectives to talk about people's feelings. So grab your vocabulary notebook, open your section for adjectives and let's get going. So let's get started. There will be 13 categories. First, we're going to focus on unpleasant feelings. And at the end, there will be lots of adjectives to talk about pleasant feelings. The level of the words is determined by the Cambridge Dictionary. So the first category has to do with sad feelings. Here I've got 16 synonyms for the adjective sad. So the first adjective on my list is miserable. It means very sad. So instead of saying he might be sad, you can say he might be miserable. Number two, blue. Exactly the same as one of my favorite colors. One simple sentence, I've been blue, since the beginning of the war. The third adjective, gloomy. Be careful, we don't say I'm gloomy. We use this adjective to describe something. For example, we can say the weather is gloomy. Number four, down. For example, I've been a bit down lately. Number five, I like the way it sounds, hollow. Hello. This adjective is used a lot in one of my favorite songs by James Blunt, Goodbye My Lover, and he sings, I'm so hollow, I'm so hollow. Number six, we can also say, he's upset, or he looks upset. Number seven, got it. It means extremely sad. Number eight, melancholic. Number nine, bummed. It's an American slang word. Number 10, in low spirits. Number 11, we can also say in a bad mood. Now we're going to look at some idioms. Number 12, down in the dumps. Number 13, one more idiom. We can say not a happy bunny or not a happy camper. And now we're going to look at three adjectives that you can use to describe someone who is on the verge of crying. Number 13, you can say tearful, 15, weepy, and 16, you can also say close to tears. And now let's move on to the second group. We're going to learn 10 adjectives to replace worried or nervous. Number one, tense. Two, anxious. Three, on edge. I like the way it sounds. For example, I'm a bit on edge today. Number four, concerned. It's another way to say worried. Number five, apprehensive. The difference between worried and apprehensive is that apprehensive means that you're worried about something that might or might not happen in the future. It's not happening right now. It's something that might happen down the line. Number six, we can also say stressed or we can add out, stressed out. Be careful with the pronunciation, st, stressed. Number seven, we can also say frantic with worry. Number eight, uneasy. It means worried and uncomfortable about a particular situation. Number nine, high strung. It's someone who becomes worried, excited or angry very easily. And number 10, I've got an idiom to have something on your mind. It means to be worried about something. For example, I've got a lot on my mind at the moment. 
And now let's move on to the third group. Some adjectives to replace the adjective confused. Number one, this adjective is not very common, but I think it's very funny. And it's discombobulated. Discombobulated. Number two, this adjective is way more common. Bewildered. Bewildered. Number three, we can also say perplexed. Number four, puzzled. We use it to mean that we don't understand something. And here I've got one more idiom that I use a lot. And it's, I can't wrap my head or my mind around something. We use it when we don't understand something because it's difficult to understand or it's strange. Five alternatives for unfocused. Number one, we can say I'm sidetracked or he seems sidetracked. Number two, you can also go for distracted. Number three, I like this one very much, zoned out. Z zoned out. For example, she's zoned out. And two idioms. Number four, to be all over the place. For example, today I'm all over the place, which means I find it very hard to focus and concentrate. And number five, to have your head in the clouds, which means to be distracted and unfocused. Number five, let's learn seven synonyms for the adjective disappointed. The first option on my list is frustrated. Number two, dissatisfied. Number three, discouraged. Number four, dismayed. Number five, disenchanted. Number six, disillusioned with something. And number seven, resigned. It means accepting that something you don't like will happen. There is nothing you can do about it. And now let's learn five adjectives to replace the adjective frightened. Number one, scared. And we can also say scared to death. Number two, terrified. Number three, petrified. And two more adjectives. Number four, fearful. And number five, panic-stricken. The next category has to do with anger. We're going to learn eight synonyms for angry. I have a lesson on 15 adjectives to replace angry. And there is also a sample sentence for each adjective. So if you're interested, you can check out this lesson. You can find the card right here and also the link in the description box. Number one, we can say annoyed. Number two, cross. Three, furious, which means very angry. Number four, irate. I like this one as well. Number five, infuriated. Number six, it's a slang word, pissed off. Two more to go. Number seven, fuming. And number eight, enraged. And now let's go on to learn eight synonyms for the adjective tired. I've also got a lesson on tired and there is also a card and all the links will be in the description down below. Number one, exhausted. Number two, drained. Number three, worn out. Number four, weary. Number five, burned out. Number six, dog tired. Number seven, wiped or wiped out. And the last one here, zonked, which is an American slang word. And now let's move on to our category number nine. We're going to learn 10 synonyms for busy. Number one, swamped. Number two, tied up. Number three, overworked. Four, overstretched. Five, overloaded. And now we're going to learn five funny idioms. Number six, to be snowed under. 
Number seven, to be run off your feet. Number eight, to be up to your ears. Number nine, to have a lot on your plate. And number 10, to run around like a headless chicken. This one has a negative connotation because it's not very effective. And guys, before we continue, just a super quick reminder. If you like today's lesson, please don't forget to like it. And remember to subscribe to English Bits if you haven't done it yet. Thank you very much for all your love and support. And now we're going to move on to more pleasant feelings. Number 10, we're going to learn some synonyms to replace surprised. I also have a lesson on surprised. So if you want to find a sample sentence, please check out this lesson. 10 synonyms for surprised. Number one, gobsmacked. Number two, staggered. Number three, flabbergasted. Number four, astonished. Number five, amazed. Number six, speechless. Number seven, taken aback. Number eight, stunned. Number nine, astounded. And number 10, shocked. Category number 11, we're going to learn four synonyms for focused. Number one, engrossed in something or with something. It means to be involved in something so that you give it all your attention. Number two, absorbed in something. For example, absorbed in a movie or in a book or in a video game, etc. Number three, to be hooked on something. The same maybe to be hooked on a TV show or on a book, the preposition on to be hooked on something. And number four, I've got an idiom to lose track of time. It usually happens when you are absorbed in something and you forget the time. Number 12, we're going to look at four alternatives for relaxed. Number one, we can say at ease. Number two, cozy. For example, if your picture shows someone lying on the sofa under a blanket, you can say he seems cozy. Two more to go. Number three, we can say comfortable or informal, comfy. For example, I'm comfy. And number four, snug. In this case, the verb we have to use is to feel, not to be. To feel snug. And last but not least, happy. We're going to look at 23 synonyms to replace the adjective happy. Number one, glad. Number two, pleased. Number three, delighted. Number four, elated. Five, blissful. Number six, overjoyed. Number seven, thrilled. Number eight, content. Number nine, ecstatic. Number 10, deliriously happy. 11, we can say in a good mood. Number 12, euphoric, extremely happy. 13, in high spirits. 14, exhilarated. 15, cheerful. Number 16, excited. 17, amped, which is an American slang word for excited. And to finish, I've got six idioms. Number 18, over the moon. Number 19, on cloud nine. 20, on top of the world. 21, this one is great. I like it so much. Walking on air. 22, a British idiom, thrilled to bits. Like English bits, which means super happy. And last but not least, a happy bunny or a happy camper. So guys, that's it for today. I really hope you enjoyed today's lesson and found it useful. I really hope it will stand you in good stead when taking your first and CAE exams and it will help you 
shine in the second part of your speaking exam. And guys, if you learned something new and found today's lesson interesting and valuable, please don't forget to give it a huge thumbs up, to subscribe to English Bits, and remember that you can catch me on Instagram, where I teach English every day. Thank you for watching today's lesson and see you next Wednesday and then next Sunday. Thank you for everything. Have a nice Sunday. Ciao for now.